time for another Blu-ray update, you guys. Hello everyone, this is Oscar the Movie Guy D, and today I'm here to give you Blu-ray update number 5. Now, yes, it's been such a long time since I've done a Blu-ray update. In fact, the first Blu-ray I got was until September 2013, which was last year. So yeah, I'm finally going to do a Blu-ray update. Let's see, I have... Wait, give me a second. I have 13 Blu-rays and one DVD to show you guys. Now, I'm going to look... I'm going to do the DVD first since there's only one. Now, here we go. The first DVD we have is... Footloose. The remake. Now... This was a really fun film. I love this film. I got it for $2 back in Black Friday 2013. Saw it twice and, I, and it's really fun. I give it an A minus. I might review it soon. I don't know. Sorry for the lighting. Oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do an unboxing. Of this for the Blu-ray update, but I'm just this is the only one. Is the DVD? So the DVD is all done. Now let's get on to the Blu-rays. What the first one I got is the Incredible Burt Wonderstone. As you know, I did a Blu-ray unboxing of this, so check it out. To be honest, I did not like this movie. I give it a C minus. It's just I bought it because it was $14.99 on sale at Target and it has a great slip cover, you guys. So yeah, that's just the first Blu-ray. Let's get on to the second one. The second one is Lincoln. This? This is a really good film. It's really interesting. Got a lot of Academy nominees. It won Best Actor, da Daniel Day-Lewis. And that's it. It's really long. I've only seen this once because it's so long. 2 hours and 30 minutes, almost. So yeah, check out the unboxing of this. Next up is probably my favorite one out of all of them. And that is... Monsters University, my second favorite movie of 2013. I love this movie. This movie came out on Tuesday, October 29th, 2013, and I got it on the first day. Saw it a lot of times on Blu-ray, and I loved it. Special features are really good as well. You have a lot right there. And I love the blue umbrella short. Next up we have is probably my favorite comedy of 2013. And that is The World's End. With Simon Pegg and Nick, Ro Nick Ross directed by Edgar Wright. This movie has, the characters have so much energy. That's why I love this film. I watched some of the special features and it looked like they had a lot of fun doing the interview and the movie at the same time. Back, I got it on day one when it first came out. Good special features. Next Blu-ray we got is the second movie I got on Black Friday 2013 for $10 and that is Star Trek Into Darkness. Great, stunning film. I love the director J.J. Abrams, and I can't wait to him for directing uh, Star Wars Episode Seven. The special features are great. As you see right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully, you do. Really good 3D when I saw it in theaters. Next up, we have is probably my. Number one guilty pleasure of 2013. It's very underrated, and that is The Lone Ranger. I really like this film a lot. 
I don't know what the critics' problem is. I don't know why they hate uh, they hate it, but I really enjoyed it. Can't believe it cost two hundred and twenty million dollars just to make this movie. Really nice slipcover, and if, if I got this for Christmas, on two thousand thirteen, along with another Blu-ray. Comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Special features are interesting. They even have a blue burst, surprisingly. There we go. The next movie is my favorite anime movie of all time. I'm getting it. I've been wanting to get this for two years. And I finally got it on Christmas, and that is Monsters Inc. or Monsters Incorporated by Disney Pixar. And the best part is I have both of them now. See, a Monster Zing comes comes with the Blu-ray and DVD collected edition. Includes the Parasaurus Rex, which was a really good short. Side. Back. Tons of bonus features. So yeah. Next up we got is a few days I got this after Christmas, and that is Fast and Furious 6. Now, to be honest, I'm not a really big fan of Fast and Furious 1, 2, 3, and 4, but I love 5, and I really like this one. Fast 5 is the best, to be honest. I have not watched the extended edition. I've only seen the theatrical four times. Well, two times in theaters and two times at home. There you go. And here's the back. Fun, entertaining, and sexy. Really good features. You have a deleted scene. And this is also a sneak preview of Fast and Furious 7, which comes out in theaters uh, April 2015. And rest in peace, Paul Walker. Next up is probably my favorite, favorite horror movie of all time, and that is The Conjuring. Wow, this terrified me. When I was first saw it in theaters, and it still terrifies me. It gives me the creeps. You have a really good 3D lenticular cover. Except this is not a 3D film. This is a regular lenticular cover. Comes with a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD ultraviolet. This is $24.99, but I got it for $12.99 when it was on sale. Rotten Tomatoes Fresh. This is a uh, side... Here's the back. One of the scariest movies ever made. I completely agree with that. Special features are interested. Uh, I saw all of them. Scaring the shit out of you. A live document. Demonology. And The Conjuring face to face with terror. Next Blue Rare Day is. I love this limited release. Got a Target for $14.99 when it first came out on the first day, which was a great deal because this is a great movie and that is The Spectacular Now with Miles Teller and Charlene Woodley. And it comes with the sticker of Divergent, which is now in theaters, which I have not seen, but I heard decent things about it. Let's see. Surprisingly, it comes with the slipcover. The back, it has strong performances and good chemistry, which I completely agree. The special features are good. Okay, the next movie I got was like a month ago. It's a good, decent anime movie. I give it like a B, and that is epic. Now, this was so much better than Blue Sky's last anime animated movie, Ice Age Continental Drift, which I'm very proud of. And I can't wait for the next Blue Sky film, Rio 2, which comes out in April, a couple weeks from now. Really nice, colorful slipcover. I love it. I've seen this movie twice, and it's pretty good. Special features are good. DVD is not.
And finally, the last Blu-ray I got, which I just unboxed a couple days ago. And I loved it more. Still my third favorite movie of 2013, and that is Dallas Buyers Club. Which comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD Ultraviolet pack. Really good chemistry. I don't know, a lot of people just like this movie because it has fast pacing. And I'm like, so what? I mean, what if that fast pacing really did happen? I mean, you never know. HD picture and theater quality sound. I have not watched any of the special features. I only watched the movie once, but I will see it again and again. Dallas Buyers Club is embossed in the side. And here as well. So yeah, that was my Blu-ray update number 5 of March 2013. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I recorded this for 11 minutes. Wow, that's a lot. Now, which one, which Blu-ray is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? Leave a comment down below. Like, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.